and good morning. Welcome. If you're new to this channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Logan. This is Timeless Personal Growth and Development. And today we're talking about child development. Specifically, we will be talking about how to connect with boys. So, boys and girls are not the same, no matter what no matter what you hear out there in the world, boys and girls are not the same. They develop differently. They have different brain chemistry. They connect differently to the adults in their lives. So, today I'm specifically talking about how to connect with boys. I've been a boy when I was young. What did I connect with? What, did, what, did, what, what drew me to the adults in my life? Well, for one, it was... Adults that, adults that took an, a genuine interest in me and my development. And I guess when you work with children and when you, when you have children yourself, they know and they can sense when you have a genuine interest in them and their development and when you don't. They know that and that affects their emotional connection to you. Boys are physical beings. We're very physical. Even as men, we're very physical. Unfortunately, I, I find now when boys grow into men, that physicality is kind of beaten out of us a little bit, and it'll affect our mental health and affect our mental well-being. That physicality needs to maintain into manhood, into adulthood. I'm specifically saying just like be physical, take care of yourself, go to the gym, work out. When you were a young boy, that was an issue because you wanted to move, you wanted to go outside, run in the woods, play with sticks, you know, play war with your friends, play cops and robbers with your buddies, you know, we're always running, always moving. That needs to transition into an adulthood, too. Obviously, obviously, as an adult, you're not going to run around and play cops and robbers with your friends. Maybe. I'm not one to judge. But that physicality needs to maintain. No matter if it's going to the gym, whether it's training in martial arts, no matter what, running, swimming, that physicality needs to maintain through your adulthood. And the best way as a Specifically, as a parent, connecting with your son, connecting with any boys, physicality. Be physically playful with them. You're not hurting them, but boys connect through physic, connect emotionally through physical play. Boys will have a better bond, a better connection with their fathers when their father, when their father themselves are a very physical being, and engages with them in physical, playful behavior with, with them, such as play fighting with your son, wrestling, wrestling in the backyard, wrestling in the basement, working out together as father and son, even as a mother, doing physical things with your, with your son, with your boy. Boys need that physicality. They connect through physical activities and doing doing physical things with each other even boys amongst their peers need to do things with each other even as men as we grow older we we connect with other men by doing things together whether it's going fishing going camping hunting working out together whatever it is we bond as men by doing activities challenging activities together I was at the cottage this summer with one of my friends and we went for a run up the mountain and then we went for a two kilometer swim in the lake. We we're pushing each other, we we're motivating, motivating each other, we felt great. And then after what happened at the end of that workout, at the end of that run, we sat on the beach and opened some beers and had a good time. We bonded as men through a physical activity. And then we talk and we engage after that physical activity. Men need that. Even as something something simple as 
going to war, going to war with your teammates, with your unit, with your platoon. Men create those strong bonds by going through really tough, challenging situations together, such as war. Men bond in those situations. Men bond in dark and challenging times. And it's the same thing with young boys. Boys will connect through physical, challenging situations with each other. Yeah, they may argue. Yeah, they may get into a fight. May tussle a little bit. But that's, that's fine. That's okay. They'll talk it over. And they'll go... They'll go hang out together and work it out. And they'll be fine after that. If you're specifically for parents, if you're a parent, mother, if you're a mother or a father and you have a son, want to connect emotionally with them, physicality, yes. You also want to build activities and have activities to do with just you and him. So if you're a father, you want to have special, exclusive father-son activities where it's just you and him. Bonding as men, bonding as father and son. Same thing with a mother and a son, just activities that you do together. Special activities. Taking time out of your schedule to go and plan an activity together, a fun activity together. Where it's not just your son's going to school and then you're going to work and then you're coming home and then you're having dinner together and then it's the weekend then you plant yourself in front of the TV and watch Netflix all weekend together. No, go out into the world and do activities together. Challenging physical activities and bond together. We're just doing them. Or from that boys will feel well, boys will feel connected to you and they'll look forward to that next activity together. They'll look forward to that. And recently I've been working working with a child where I've built that connection where I do special activities just me and him where we re where we read a book together me and him we do physical activities just together and that builds the connection so when he sees me he looks forward to those activities but I always tell him work done first get your work done and then we go to do the activity together say focus stay sharp study hard work out do what you got to do, and then we go have fun and do our special activity, whether it's reading, whether it's working out, doing any kind of physical activity, we go and do it. So he looks forward to that every day, so he associates me with those fun activities, those fun emotions. But he only gets to do that stuff when he puts in the work first. That's what he has to do for school, for his teachers, and then we can go have fun. So he's being productive in school, studying hard, working hard, getting smarter, and then he gets to go have fun with me. But that builds a connection with me where I can be a better influence on him and influence him when it comes to his academics. Instead of coming in and yelling at him, well, like disciplining him, like, no, you got to do your work, no. Or I don't need to do that because that emotional bond's already made. Where I could just don't have to raise my voice. I just tell them like, well, you know the deal. We'll go do the fun stuff, but you got to put in the work first. And then he does it. And then he looks forward to our activity together. But then he'll, he'll, learn, he'll learn new skills and develop new skills by going and doing those activities with me. For example... Teaching boys how to properly shake hands. You reach out your hand, grabs your hand. If he doesn't squeeze hard enough, you squeeze his hand harder. That'll force him to step up and squeeze harder. That's what we want to teach young boys is when you meet someone for the first time, show your strength. Show your assertiveness. Squeeze their hand. Be strong. Be confident. The way you squeeze someone's hand says a lot about you. So if I, I reach out and the boy I'm working with is not squeezing my hand hard enough, I'll squeeze his hand harder. And I'll tell him to squeeze my hand harder. Harder. Until I'm satisfied, then he gets the message. 
So that becomes ingrained into his head. So all those little things and all those little lessons, all those little skill sets that he learns, he gets to upgrade. He upgrades more. He grows better, grows stronger, gets more disciplined in himself. And then that way, he feels more comfortable, more competent, competent and confident in himself. And all that stems from building that emotional connection with me. Got to associate those positive emotions, do a physical activity, do an activity that's only exclusive to you and him. And then you bond from there. And on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can like, subscribe, comment. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Logan Ryder, Timeless Personal Growth and Development. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a great week.